whatever you might call it, between staff, faculty, as well as the students. You get to be like a residential advisor, you get to be an upper class student, you get to be an intern, do stuff in internship, and then on top of that, you get to stay at the campus and be part of the learning community. We have the academic side, we're all embedded in classes, we get to take classes alongside students, which is really neat. A big part of the role is, I guess, what you would think of as the freshman council role at Yale. We're often interacting with students a lot more than Yale Frocos interact with their students. Be it study tips or like just plain old advice, we know we can count on them and yeah, they're always here. They live with us, they're always here. You need to start something and you don't quite know where to start from. It's just nice to have someone to talk. And as soon as I got off the plane, Nessa gave me a card and a gift <laughs> because she thought it was my birthday and she mixed up my birthday. They are our older siblings, they are our mentors, they are our friends. It seems like a, a magical opportunity to somehow bring my sensitivities and all of my energies from my portfolio and just keep them alive. Jeff. I love this job. I'm in love with this job. I'm in love with the school, with the idea, with what they're doing, how exciting it's going to be. It's something completely different than any other senior at Yale ever does. Uh, I really, really wanted to contribute something to a new college, uh, building up uh, a new culture. It really sounded very exciting to me. I found something at Yale US that just made me open my eyes, and I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds like the dream job. <laughs>